good afternoon everyone uh, we have a very interesting session today something with the brand marketeers and the agencies uh, you know are constantly looking at finding a solution for the topic which is need for optimizing out of home advertising for an efficient brand building we have recently come out with a fiki frames report which clearly shows that you know the indian advertising industry has crossed 1 trillion for the first time ever what role will out of home play for the brand marketeers as part of this we have seen that the segment has recovered to 86% of the 2022 uh, this year it has recovered 26 86% traditional 59% and the transit media has contributed 41% digital screens have reached a lakh uh, 150000 there are over 10000 active brands on out of home today so it's it's a medium which is very critical we have brand and marketers and agencies and ex agencies the objective today will really be to understand how we can navigate this and how we can work on uh, optimizing this media so we are going to discuss a lot of examples how uh, the marketers are really working on this so the first question and this is for all the brand, to all the brands the role out of home really plays in your media plan and as a brand what is your expectation from an agency to drive the same i'll start with you amar thanks amin so for us at abcl the role of oh media is at top of the funnel so what we do is we do a strategic planning close i am audible yeah. now yeah yeah so for oh oh is a crucial part for our media mix yeah we uh, basically plan top of the funnel which is tofo to drive awareness and recall mm. then we come to middle of the funnel which is consideration and interest driving interest and then we come to bottom of the funnel which is bofo so oh sits at top of the funnel for us to drive awareness and recall for the brands and uh, the role which the agency plays for us is to you know uh, help us in strategic planning get scientific planning on the table and as well uh, you know uh, the buying transparency for us okay atika how do you drive it for algobef challenge <laughs> yeah challenge and uh just saying that we don't advertise alcobe we advertise extensions so i think that's something that i'd like to say uh out of for us uh is a medium that is important but yet not so important so it's important from the point of view of when we have experiences or when we have events it's it plays a major role because it helps us with localized targeting for example if i have a royal stack boombox event in dehradun i mean and i'm addressing a certain specific youth community it just makes sense for me to go all out on outdoor after saturating digital because i want everybody in that city to know that i am hosting a event where the who's who of the music industry is there so that's one way we could use it uh or i could use it for a shivas alchemy event but the other way that we use it is for a lot of our copcom campaigns uh whether it's uh, unboxing where we're doing away with mono cartons and it's for impact it's for talkability it's for driving buzz and uh making sure that we come across as responsible advertisers and over there it you know does the role of impact creation amongst people like you amongst marketers so i think it plays a dual role and the role keeps changing depending on the campaign the objective uh agencies of course help us with the right kind of inventory to you know uh uh meet our kpis or ensure that the role we've defined for the medium is done but outdoor does have different kinds of roles to play it may not be the first medium of choice but it definitely has a huge role to play in the industry that i come from so what i hear from you it plays a critical role in supplementing your main line that's what it does it does sometimes play a critical role in supplementing my main line at other times possibly enhancing the performance of my main line like for ticket selling and for letting people know that there is a particular event in a particular town you know it does that job very very effectively so it's not always supplementing right so because you drive a lot of events as part of your marketing then it yeah. plays a very very critical role it does and sometimes even for large scale new campaigns right if you want a certain community or transit i mean where do all of us buy alcohol at duty free yeah 
and if you are reached with an ad just before you enter or exit duty free, it just makes sense, right? So uh, for us, it does. It does. It's an important role uh, that it plays in our media plans. But yes, how, how do we really measure it is something that we are still working towards. Taran, from CPG perspective, how does it form part of your campaign and how does the agency enable this for you? I think CPG, CPG is uh, generally, I think, a lagard in this uh, medium. We use it very tactically, I think, as CPG, especially for TCPL. Um, it is going to be a very tactical intervention. Um, maybe, obviously, as any other marketer would tell you, it is basis objective what you are really looking at. But it is not the lead medium, but it definitely can be made a medium where, you know, you get uh, the level of reach and uh, with obviously now the digital outdoor which is which is in uh, you know in talks and a lot of people are using i think a lot of it is also getting covered in terms of what you really want to do so i would feel outdoor is still uh, important but is it the lead medium the answer is no Harish, i'll come to you from um you know you spend so much time in, the, in this industry and work with so many brands uh, how do you see out of home being leveraged uh, by the brand and how, ha how do you see agencies really enabling that journey for them to, uh, you know, for the medium to be more impactful, more measurable, you know, linking it to the brand objectives for a, uh, for a, uh, for a marketer? I think, hello, yeah, I think uh, Amaya, uh, it's a very good question because I think the next generation or the current generation of specialists, especially at the agency end, are challenging the, you know, traditional uh, way of looking at things. And I think uh, there is so much of deep data and immersive tech which is now available. Uh, it is only helping us bring, uh, you know, brands uh, and their consumers much closer. I think talent has played a very critical role. Uh, and then you couple that with uh, all the new agencies, all the agencies uh, which have now enabled themselves with, uh, you know, the current movement of bringing in data, bringing in measurability. And I think most of the agencies today uh, are looking at out of home in a very different way. I think out of home has become far more sort of measurable and also accountable, uh, like most of the uh, mediums which you all brands look at. Uh, it is all about the perspective and uh, uh, it's about the faith, uh, how the brands put in. I think things are available uh, today and if, even if there is no syndicated research in the market, but yes, there are so many uh, independent neutral APIs which you can use, be it Google Places API or Facebook Analytics or uh, Pinterest API or Census data. There are so much of data which is available to bring that kind of parity which, you know, brands are today looking at. So I think that's a... Uh, big change and we as specialists are uh, today able to bring that to a lot of brands in the country. Lovely. Amar, I'll ask you this question in terms of, um, you know, where you have a lot more, what do you say, um, measurability in terms of your main line where you have t television and digital, which is now we're seeing that it has surpassed television. Uh, you know, how relevant or how effective do you see out of home media today, uh, you know, competing with these other uh, mainline mediums where the budgets are getting consumed? So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the power of OH is undeniable. So, you know, to create the effectiveness which it's having by creating the impact and driving the reach and enable so uh, but it requires careful planning for us obviously when we plan our OH campaign we look at uh, scientific method methods of planning you know there are various tools which we uh, you know evaluate our media plans on so from uh, location based targeting to uh, multiple touch points where our consumers are you know to understand their psychographic uh, patterns and their travel patterns and accordingly uh, planning and uh, allocating a media, understanding the market nuances 
and mapping it with our brand priority markets and obviously keeping in mind the brand positioning which is key so this is the way which we think that we plan our oh for abc i think for bfsi segment it this plays a very very critical role uh, and adhika we were having an interesting conversation before which was on you know what do i do with this data <laughs> right so how do i link it to an outcome uh, base metrics and what do i do with this data so how how are you you know resolving yeah. this challenge so so i'll just like think take a step back and think about out of home and divide it into what is available today so you of course have the traditional out of home which is the static the large holdings you have the digital out of home and then you have the ambient screens now if you have a look at consumers and at all of us today we we are taking a phone with us wherever we go we have a screen with us we are on the screen if you look at ambient out of home it's also a screen it follows you wherever you go whether it's trains buses ola cabs uber cabs whatever so uh, so if i'm prioritizing screens and if i am planning for a multi screen audience i would put in television because at the end of the day i can do a triple m measure what's the roi once i start advertising not advertising on digital uh, because we are a dark category and i'm advertising extensions i can definitely look at uh, you know where my impressions were delivered did it have an impact on my brand kpis was there an uplift in my brand with out of home i'm yet to see that as an industry and i'm not saying that it's just the industry problem even as advertisers we need to push them there i think having a common currency of measurement maybe having the entire industry talk the same language specifically for screens that are comparable to a television to a mobile because today the consumer is on the move is transient i think measuring that so i have a lot of data saying okay how many people you know uh, phones came across my ad when i was there or when my ad was served but what do i make of that data did it have a movement in my brand kpis uh do you think i should put in a cta of just sign up for my event now or you know uh, if i am fmcg uh, you know this is a supermarket nearby and you have a discount can i go and do that i think together as an industry marketers um suppliers agencies we all need to come together to be able to define that common currency which i think digital as a medium has effectively done and with technology coming into outdoor i think measurement is not a challenge but measurement to what impact to the brand because ultimately if i put in 100 rupees on outdoor i'm choosing it above something else and i will need to justify what's the impact it's had and what is the role it can play in the next plan so if i want consistent presence of out of home in my plans i would be able need to be able to justify that spend and say what impact it's had i think all of us together you know need to sort of move towards that that measurement which is not about saying i got so much first party data i got so much second party data this is the impressions they've over delivered these are just basics if you get, go to television it's sophisticated for the last 25 years it can give you exactly what it's doing and you have an uphill task for you to become primary for you to become a medium i cannot skip i will need a common currency i will need to measure the impact it has on my brand so that it's a medium that's unavoidable for me you know that's that's exactly what we were discussing right i need to know the impact correct uh taran you spoke about a very interesting campaign which you ran uh on the engagement and how you created engagement with that so taking clue from what artika has mentioned um how did that contribute in terms of the roi to the campaign or how did it contribute to the larger brand objectives and that could be creating data generating data so i think uh, we were talking about measurability uh, outdoor of course with the digital um, outdoor that we have now interactive outdoor exists now in the market uh, there are other forms of outdoor it is no more the static way that we yeah. we've all grown up seen um the we did a recent campaign um, on tata tea gold which is uh, which is actually linking what you are putting on a digital platform which is ex uh, which is uh, for example instagram so we we got the consumers to post their pictures on mothers day with their moms on instagram go to a mall you see the same picture on a big billboard in the mall 
and you get a pack of that. Right? So it's, uh, it's actually real time outdoor output, also input in that manner and measurability because you can measure it from the conversation which are picking up while the campaign is on, uh, while somebody is tagging you, while somebody is uploading, while somebody is engaging on the interactive screen, right? While somebody is actually uploading and then you can see and you know the happiness on people's face when they see their own picture on an outdoor, uh, real time, I think it's, uh, it really pays back, right? As for, for the marketeers. And I think it is, when we say outdoor is not measurable or when we say outdoor doesn't do much for us, uh, I think the lens we may also need to change as marketeers would be how can we make it happen, right? Uh, because it is, it is nobody else is going to do for that, for us, right? <laughs> we ourselves have to change the lens. There is digital who has surpassed TV now in terms of spends in the recent report. Um, and that has happened at the back of the tech giants really taking that um, sprint, right, to get to where they are now. And that's how the industry has moved. But if outdoor has to move, then we will have to together uh, make a change, right? How, how did Bach come in existence? It's because all, all the three bo bodies actually came together to do that, right? On outdoor, I think, I, I'm not sure if we are still ready to have that kind of a uh, partnership, but uh, when, when we are talking about campaigns, then when it comes to innovation, then why do we have to only restrict, oh, this is outdoor and this is static and that's all. All you can do is just bring one car from one place to the other in an outdoor hoarding, right? So uh, there is digital system which is existing. So it's for us to innovate, for us to bring that uh, you know, the benchmark up and, and get the ball rolling for outdoor. Actually, that's very interesting. One of the event I was uh, attending recently and there was a full session on out of home and this is for one of the leading car manufacturers. Mm -hmm. They actually used the projection on one of the hills in Ladakh. So generally you will see uh, all these autos, you know, uh, the cars running in the run of Kutch or they're doing the four-wheel yeah. drive and all over the place. And it was a very, very innovative campaign. Uh, where, yeah. Ami, on that part, you know, when we are talking about outdoor innovations, I know a lot of uh, partners are sitting and agency folks are sitting. There are a lot of examples. People keep floating. This is some, but some innovation in outdoor happened in US and UK and Singapore. Please see, we need to do it in India. I, I think the, it's time that it becomes the other way around, where people <laughs> actually start saying that, oh, this is some great innovation which happened in India, and that's how the, the industry is going to get up. I think the sprint has to be much faster, <laughs> because yeah. now there are drones which are there, and yeah, we still exactly. to see a lot of those innovations in India. Uh, Harish, we are talking a lot Okay, so the way I see this is there is the existing ecosystem of out of home and we've seen in the last four, five or maybe ten years on how digital which used to be and I recall I think five years or six years back and you guys can confirm from your budgets used to be less than two percent of the overall media budgets. Okay, and there, at that point of time, the marketers really used to talk about, oh, they're spending 20% of the media budgets on digital and we are only 2%. Okay, and th there, are, there, there, there were a lot of brands which were digital first and now with a lot of e-com, you know, a lot of spends are being there on digital. Do you see that happening with a lot of digitization happening, uh, which also uh, reduces the cost to reach? plus with programmatic, TV360 and a lot of tech which is available there. What kind of role do you think that will play in, you know, repositioning this uh, media which is, I think at this point of time, underrated? I think uh, one good thing which has happened especially in last two, three years is the uh, evolution of the digital infrastructure which has happened in India. So if you look at uh, the number of screens have gone up, uh, and also the quality of screens which have gone up. Uh, I think uh, as an as a industry, we are a little far away in terms of real programmatic uh, out of home. But yes, we are there. Uh, and I think platforms like DV360 or Lima and all uh, such DSPs are only going to help us, you know, uh, deliver campaigns on all the digital screens. Uh, but also, 
we need to bring in you know a lot of mobile data uh, to be integrated into those platforms uh, we need to get all the global players who are able to bring in a lot of data points so one is delivery becomes easy secondly uh, also the uh, sort of efficiency in terms of planning and also measurability uh, which comes into play and which is what all the brands today need uh, and i think uh, uh, to ask uh, i mean to answer your question i think things are uh, very positive uh, both in terms of infrastructure as well as the tech which is involved so now you also have uh, you know uh, programmable screens which are on let's say your cars your ola cars or your st uh, static place or ambient environment so i think this is only going to help uh, and if you look at uh, developed markets like us or uk where you know initially with it started it started with uh, or singapore if you look uh, closer to us or china it started with you know 10% uh, digital and then 90% uh, traditional today markets like uk us you have got almost 95% digital inventory right so things are going to change and i think we as an industry have to be ready for it and uh, we need to also evolve uh, with so many things which are changing in the environment right i think that's a interesting perspective i think a lot of initiatives have to be collectively taken both from the agency and the brand side in fact on on um, you know on traditional television also today there are less conversations on tradition uh, on television there are more conversation on connected tv so that medium is also evolved and like how uh, with you know measurability across 6 million connected tvs in india today versus uh, a traditional way of measuring my grps that's way more progressive so there has to be a new tech or new intervention which has to be put in place is is what i really see amar i'll ask you this question because you know you've you've seen this both from the agency side and the brand side right uh, how do you see this innovation or new ways of working or new tech which will probably drive and make out of home as a critical consideration during uh, media planning so ame um, uh, when consulting again out of home you know as a medium obviously it's evolving right now uh, the you know the third party text which are available which you know obviously currently the industry body doesn't have a platform which can have a measurement but uh, again i would emphasize on the scientific planning which you know i have been uh, looking at with the agencies as well as the brand and that how do you map your entire objective of the campaign so let's say oh if you have an objective of having awareness and recall and where do you see oh in terms of how do you track the measurement of your oh through your brand track reports so we also do brand track report studies when i joined abcl we did a brand track report study so every month we do a brand track report where our awareness top tom scores and spawn scores have increased how we are in likely to be considered by our audiences so these are the measurements which you look at when we plan for out of home so <clears throat> as as you you know mention that this would be a uh, top of the funnel yes. it will play a very very critical role uh, more and more and I, and i think uh, atika for a brand like yours what it you know the critical role or let me put it this way we've seen how second screen interactivity is playing a very critical role yeah. so about 4 years back or 5 years back uh, you know everybody is now today aware about kon barega karodpati play along right so we put that thing in place that while everybody is watching television they're also playing it in their heads and how do we start the measurement yeah. uh, taran gave an example of second screen interactivity while you know i'm looking at it and you know i use my phone and then i'm also using that to collect the first party data uh and optimize how do you see out of home with second screen interactivity or integrating with other mediums you know so that it 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 plays a integral role in your overall brand strategy so i'll just take a cue from what amar said about measurement i think how is it 
it's impacting your brand's cause would be the ideal state that I would like to reach at. But as of now, I would like to just, if I have to consider out of home screens, on parity with TV and digital, what are the things I'm looking for? I'm looking for measurability, how many people have actually seen the ad, what do they think of my brand, is there any fraudulent traffic or not? So that's the role, that's the kind of measurement like I'd like to do because it's a medium that is supplementing my multi-screens. That's one role it could play. The second role it could play, like I said, I have a lot of events or my category operates on a lot of events. So are there any signups that are specifically driven through out of home, whether it's through QR code registration or not, that could be another metric. The third one, interestingly, what Taran said about innovation, I think out of home is a medium where you could really innovate. Uh, with given the different technologies which are available worldwide, but use it in a nuanced way, in a context way for India. And we did something like that for uh, absolute, uh, you know, ally campaign. And we had this installation at Bandstand and we just tested one city to see how it felt, where we had a huge experience screen. And when someone walks across it, there were silhouettes and the colors of pride because that is what absolute does. It, 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 is, it stands for love. We didn't do it in the Pride Month. We did it in the month of February, which is the month of love. And we said, you know, absolute is all for equal love. But what we did see with that interactive screen is that initially we had to get promoters and people to come and perform. After about three or four days of it being present there, there were people, local groups, who came and asked us if they could perform there, uh, whether we could record them. Uh, they started amplifying the absolute ally hashtag and it was a huge word of mouth thing. So I mean the cost to executing it was more but the fact that it drove a whole localized event to the point that a couple of bars in Bandra came with their performers to perform. So I think depending on what the role is playing, we, we could start with baby steps. First is just measuring how many people have actually viewed the ad? Viewability, please borrow from your digital counterparts. Can you, you know, use Moat and IS tags? Can you uh, say who, uh, they, what percentage of this is invalid traffic? Just start with that, move to your brand track saying, okay, if the number of people who are exposed to my ad, how much recall do they have? Do they recall seeing, uh, you know, my ad and so on and eventually moving to brand KPIs. But I think, there is, there is a step ladder approach and measurement is not that difficult. I think on the supply side, we sort of need to consolidate. And also on the advertiser side, we need to be very conscious of how we are using it and, you know, stop our own biases which were there 10 years ago about it being a not so credible medium, about it being a not so measurable medium. Because with tech, it's measurable. How we plan that measurement journey, I think we all just need to come together. Come together. Yeah. I think a lot of these discussions on, on tech, digital media, uh, you know, it's, it's concentrated to tier one, tier two. Taran, how do you see this in media dark areas? Uh, I understand it works very well for a CPG client, for rural area activations, interactions. So I think uh, for when we talk about uh, media dark markets, I think to any advertiser's mind is wall painting. Let's do wall painting, <laughs> right? So uh, outdoor, I, I remember I, as in almost some 15, 16 years back where we used to think about those kind of plans, agencies would come and present that, right? Uh, but I think today with the way that market is there, there is obviously digital which is so, so penetrated even in those kind of markets which are rural markets. So, so there is earlier they had their own play of let's do an activation and outdoor but now it is activation, outdoor and digital is what the rural market is really dealing with in terms of the exposure of media and of course I think the, the task again when you have to reach a rural market through outdoor is again why do we have to again restrict ourselves to the the, the general stuff like that we've always been doing, right? Or just stick to activation and let's, let's get it rolling. The innovations that you do in tier one, why don't you just go and do it in tier three or lower below? And you see the impact of that, right? Yeah, so, it's it's uh, actually removing our bias as marketeers, as advertisers in yeah. the business. Because we think, okay, this works for tier one, but rural, tier three, will it? Yeah. And actually, yeah. sometimes… See, test and learn. I think the yeah. key is also to test and learn in a lot of times. Yes, totally. Uh, but of course, uh, rural market is the favorite for outdoor, I know that. <laughs> yeah. 
and how do you see uh, with the digital apps, free internet, free IPL, competing with out of home? Yeah, that is of course uh, there. The Geo has obviously done all the uh, the working, and now which is the ONDC coming in picture, the world is going to open up so much. Uh, so yeah, the competition is definitely going to be harder for rural market. <laughs> Reach. Competition and for you to decide how to figure this out. I I think it's a great place to be as a marketer, that is right? True. Because uh, if if you have more options to address a media dark area, what what more you yeah. want, right? I think it's a Correct. great place to be in. I think uh, as an agency, I think I would like to defend my turf here. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, every media has a role. Uh, digital might have a role of uh, you know optimize reach or better reach or uh, similarly print or television. I think uh, what outdoor delivers is impact and I think uh, yesterday when Subranshu was presenting on Tata Motors, he spoke about uh, you look up to the brand and you know billboard brings the largeness. So I think uh, if you look at all the recent history, 3D anamorphic two years back, three years back when it came for the first time, uh, you know everyone started that and now it has started in India also. So I think uh, uh, Every media has a role and I think out, out of home plays a very critical role of delivering uh, impact and largeness to the brand and I think uh, uh, as brand custodians you, you will also look at different mix of reach and impact for your campaigns and I think uh, if you have to define then I think impact is a very critical uh, sort of a point which out of home drives. And, and I'll second that and Shirty was just asked the question which movie have you watched and he said OTT. So OTT is using out of home very well. I don't go on Netflix to see what I should watch because I'm crossing something and I see something interesting and then I will go and check that, right? So I think impact wise, it, it is a very high impact uh, medium. And uh, you know, one of the other things is and um, you know, the impact zone for an out of home, at least in tier one, tier two cities, right, would be concentrated to probably, let's say, few areas, right? The airport roads, key junctions. Uh, how does that play up? Amma, you want to take a dig at that? Because everybody is then eyeing for just the same inventory. The same inventory, yeah. So, yeah, as you mentioned, I mean, the inventory is scarce. Like it's not television which, where you put your, you know, you have uh, 12 minutes or 18 minutes of inventory where you can put your spots. Inventory is scarce. So, how efficiently you plan and the basis that how your agency works as an extended arm for you in terms of blocking your sites and having it in place for you is the key for that. Okay, I am also keeping an eye on the clock for all of us. <laughs> okay, uh, closing remarks. I'll start with you, Atika. Mm -hmm. What's the future of out of home? Well, the future of out of home, I kind of feel, is bright if you were to be able to drive common, you know, currency for measurement. Um, I agree with a lot of things that the panel said here. One, of course, with the multi-screen behavior coming in, I think out of home can become a part of your regular screen planning if we are able to measure, if we are able to ensure that deliveries are on target. It definitely is an impact medium. We'll consider to do so, I think, for generations to come. Like everybody here is saying, I think if you just go across Bombay, everywhere there are Citadel holdings. I'm not sure who's not seeing them and not watching them. And you can see Netflix, Amazon Prime using it to their advantage. So I think the impact thing remains constant. With technology, you can add a leg of measurability. There is some distance to go for the industry, but I'm sure if uh, you know we could solve the problem of television screens, out of home, you know, can be solved. And and it's just creative solutions. The last leg would be creative solutions, creative solutions and technology. So I think it's just about using it to our advantage and ultimately saying these were the results. And then. I think there's a consistent uh, feedback loop that you built into your plans. So I, I kind of feel like outdoor would be, it could become the next digital if we all come together with a common currency, with measurement. It definitely has the impact and innovation capabilities like no other. Absolutely, absolutely. Amar, what's out of home future for you? For your brand and for the industry? Yeah, so if I talk about the OH addicts, currently it stands at 2%. 
you know, which is hardly anything. For BFSI as a category, it's 5%. Yeah, and, uh, and the way that DOH is, you know, growing from 6% right now, I think in 2022, which I was reading a report, there was, it's around 8%. The screens which are coming up, the digital screens which are coming up, around 2 lakhs, what the number says right now, which maybe in a year or two it can double up. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, what I understand is that outdoors is evolving. There is an involvement which is happening for basis programmatic DOH, basis new beautified media which is coming up, basis the infrastructure, fast paced infrastructure. And uh, once, as Atika mentioned, the measurement, a uh, common measurement platform is in place. So brands won't shy away, you know, in having their OH investments increasing in their pie. Yeah. No, I completely agree with you. With so much infrastructure development, I think there'll be a major shift in how concentrated out of home media, yeah. you know. The transit medias which are available, so airport which is available. So, you know, basically the infrastructure, there would be a lot of screens where there would be captive audiences which we would be, you know, targeting. True, true, absolutely true. Harish, how do you see the out of home media and where do you see um, agency playing a critical role in driving that as an integral part of the media objectives for a brand? I think uh, if you look at the current budgets uh, where the government has put so much of weightage, almost 30% of weightage on the infrastructure which you guys also mentioned and I think most of you must be also visiting your markets. Uh, the kind of connectivity, the kind of, uh, you know, infrastructure which is there right from, you know, basic water to electricity to roads, everything is improving and I think for the next 10 years the government initiative of reaching out to the smallest of the town only creates opportunity for us, uh, you know, to uh, uh, ensure that you are reaching the deepest part of the country today. And I think uh, overall quality of infrastructure is also going to play a critical role. Uh, with a lot of municipal corporations uh, emphasizing on improving the quality, uh, bringing in tender, making the uh, medium digital, will only ensure that uh, Brands are going to look forward to, uh, uh, you know, out of home in a much positive sense. And uh, Amai, I want to uh, also touch upon your point about, uh, you know, syndicated research and industry data which is there. I mean, we all know television has been struggling for their own bark ratings. Or if you look at, even digitally struggling with the numbers, yes, out of home does not have a syndicated research. But uh, if you look at parallel sort of data points which are available, uh, you can at least have a surety that as specialists we are depending on a third party data which is a industry uh, accepted data points and at least as specialists we will be in a much better position to bring that. And I think uh, synergies of data, infrastructure and technology are the three pillars which are going to drive the future of out of home. I completely agree. The third party data plays a very, very critical role. We've seen how radio has died because of RAM not there. Okay. And in fact, today, you know, I'm meeting so many um, agencies or industry players and everybody is moving with their set of data, be it on influencer marketing, be it on out of home, be it on transit media, be it connected TV. So Samsung comes with their set of data, yeah. right? So you have so many data points which are, I think, scattered all over and I think it's, it's very critical that all of this comes in one place and there is one currency which is accepted, uh, which is very critical, I think, for any medium to take off. Uh, otherwise, you know, this will continue to be a discussion and debate each year. Uh, Taran, I think what, you know, Harish also mentioned in terms of the critical role that out of home plays for tier two, tier three with infrastructure, you know, increasing and still a very trusted medium to, you know, build my brand awareness, reach and achieve my brand objectives. How do you see out of home playing a critical role in those regions? So, with respect to, I think, uh, tier two, tier three, uh, there is a lot around, uh, you know, and it is existing everywhere, but there's a lot around ad fraud. 
right, which needs to be controlled because for a marketer who's sitting in a metro city, I don't know how many people will that person manage to go and check whether that outdoor was up or not, right? And and if, um, you know, th and when you ask what is the future, I think the future is what we make, right? Uh, there is no future which is defined, the future we have to make, right? So if you make a trustworthy future, the industry is going to follow that, right? So uh, I think there is a lot of onus on the partners to build that structure, whether it is tier one, tier two, three and below, for, for people to see and trust what they actually bought, whether it finally got delivered or not. So the trust thing also has to be somewhere, you know, sorted uh, for this medium to go up. Right. No, absolutely. So I think uh, from a marketer's perspective, are you getting the buck? You know, this, you know, spend for your buck what you spend as an agency to drive more measurement. Also, as collectively as an industry, more innovation and measurability. Uh, I think these are very, very critical steps. And I think, and as you rightly said, with so many options, it's it's a really good time uh, to put up a unified currency, put up innovations which could be replicated and and you said a very good point which is i think it's time for india to do innovations and others quoting us yeah. so on that note i will thank all of you for your insights and excellent discussion very interesting thank you everyone thank, thank you. you thank you thank you guys